Hi guys, I'm Dave, and this is Beer Virtually. Today we're back with another beer from Dewclaw. This is Dewclaw's Devil's Milk. This is a, an American barley wine. It smells kind of hoppy for a barley wine. It has a high IBU, so that, that may be um, part of the reason. Cool color. Very amberish, almost like a almost like a red. Take your first sip. It's definitely a barley wine. It was definitely probably the most hoppy barley wine I've ever had. It's good. It's definitely more bitter than I think any barley wine I've ever had. Um, very red. I'm drinking this on the warmer side. I'm guessing this is about 54, based on some past uh, past tastings with using the thermopan and engaging what's a good temperature to drink this at. I got some um, with some stats for this beer. Like I said, this is an American barley wine. 10% alcohol, and for the IBUs, I got some con conflicting data. I got 60 in a couple places and I got 88.4 in a couple places. And that may be because they use a different hop bill. So when they make bourbon or whiskey, they, they use a mash bill, which is what percent of corn and what percent of rye and what percent of all and, and what types and all that kind of stuff. So the same thing for hops based on what hops and how much they use, they have a hop bill. It's like the recipe, kind of. So every year they use a different hop bill. So that's definitely going to change the IBU from year to year. So anywhere from 60 to 88.4. I would say this is, I don't know. I would say this is not 88.4. I would say this is closer to 60. Um, it's in a snifter glass because of the alcohol content and it's a barley wine. Like I said, 10% on this, so it's definitely, definitely has some alcohol in it. You can taste some of the alcohol too. It definitely, it definitely comes out a bit. Um, this is Duclaw's most popular seasonal beer. It contains Centennial and Chinook hops, caraway malt, Crystal 150, which I have no idea what that is. You should look that up. Torrid Wheat. Melodian Malt and Pale Malt. So, Jim Wagner is the uh, brewmaster at Duke Law. And he's been there, I think, since 97. And on his first interview with uh, Dave Benfield, the founder, he brought his homebrew version of this barley wine, and that was kind of what sealed the deal for him becoming the brewmaster. It's kind of an interesting story. This is fourteen ninety nine a six pack, so not cheap, but not not super expensive either. This is one of those beers that, even though I'm enjoying it, it's definitely, I probably wouldn't do more than one. He said it's very hoppy for a barley wine. It's just a weird, I'm just not used to that, so it's kind of weird. They're usually sweeter, almost at a hair, that syrupiness that I've talked about a few times. Kind of an interesting, um, 
label. I get, I'm not a huge fan of their logo. It's too gothic or something like that. And the label is a little bit gothic too. Probably wine style ale, like we had talked about during the um, Bourbon County um, barley wine tasting, which was way more complex than this. Uh, that that was, uh, and it, that it's an ale. Barley wine is actually an ale. As it's had time to breathe a little bit, more of the hop notes are coming out. Very florally. De definitely has a bitter, a bitter note to it. Just not what I was expecting in that in a barley wine. If you like hoppy beers like a or even like a rye if you like rye beers and you like barley wine this is kind of a mix of those two because the, the hops is kind of toned down just by the nature of the barley wine in general but it's definitely still rare So I'd rate this a three and a half. I think overall quality is good. Um, it's just it's just weird for a barley wine. I'm having a hard time getting getting past that. Like I said, this is a beer I'd have one of and move on to something else. Um, I'm glad I tasted it because I. I enjoyed the three-part series I did with Duclaw, with the Sweet Baby Jesus, the Sweet Baby Java, and the 865, which were all totally different kinds of beers than this. Those were all porters and stouts. But um, being a barley wine and being at their most popular seasonal, I thought I'd give it a shot. I also, to kind of as a follow-up to the three-part series, um, I have, uh, I think it's called Dirty Little Freak, which is a coffee porter, I believe, with coconut. So maybe I might, I might taste that one in conjunction with Last Snow, which for the first time, I believe, uh, Funky Buddha is distributing this year. So we may get some up here. So this is going to be the same, well, no, that's going to be a four pack. This is $14.99 a six pack. The last note is going to be $14.99 a four pack, which I think is probably still a good deal for last note. Last note is, it, so there's a couple beers that are, that are way up there for me. Um, the Bell's Black Note Stout was very good. Four and a half range. Um, Morning Wood was, I think, four and a quarter, four and a half. That was good. Uh, Prairie Bomb is up there in the four and a half range for me. And Last Snow is definitely in that same caliber of beers. It's got the flavor, the complexity, um, the mouthfeel, it's got uh, just all of it. Get a little off topic talking about a barley wine and going all those other beers, but they, they were, and this has n almost no lacing. A little thin bit ahead for the first half of it, but now it's gone. And that's that. Duclaw's Devil's Milk. Ten percent. I could definitely see. I mean, I, you can you can definitely taste the alcohol. A couple of these would creep up on you. But until next time, cheers.